Welcome to MAKE, Hands-On Intro to Engineering Design, a course taught at the University of South Florida. In this video, we are going to discuss how to create solid bodies, including extrusion, revolving, sweeping, and lofting. Hello. Today, we are going to be discussing how to create solid bodies in Autodesk Inventor. There are four main ways to do this, and they all begin with sketches. The first method is extrude, and this uh, method, we take a profile defined by a sketch and then extrude that to create a solid body in either one or two directions. Revolve around an axis takes a uh, two-dimensional profile defined by a sketch and then revolves that uh, profile around an axis to create an axisymmetric body. Sweep along a path takes a profile that is defined by a sketch and extrudes that profile along a path defined by a second sketch. And then finally, loft takes is, is similar to sweep, but instead uh, takes different cross sections defined by sketches and then interpolates the profile from one to the other, creating a solid body in between. So we can just get started here, and uh, I'll introduce extrude. Uh, if you see on the screen, we have a profile drawn. It is a uh, 10 millimeter diameter circle, um, just drawn. Um, in the XZ plane. <clears throat> so to create a solid body from this, uh, we could use extrude, which will create a cylinder. And to do that, we just go up to the ribbon and select extrude, and we can click on that. Because the uh, the profile of this circle is the only one um, that exists within this part, it will automatically select that for us. Had there been more than one profile, um, that this that could be selected, um, we would then have to use the profile select tool here, um, which would allow us to select this circle. Um, to uh, define how far the extrusion goes, you can select the extents, and this will create um, a, a solid body either a certain distance, or you can select two. In which case, if there were a second plane or some other uh, feature within the part, we could extrude to that point, and so you could then select that point. And between, you can also select uh, in between two faces, uh, and that will be the distance that the solid body is created. But in this case, we're just going to do distance, and we're going to select 10 millimeters um, and hit OK. So as you can see, we now have a three dimensional sphere created from the uh, two-dimensional circle sketch. We can go back in and uh, explore some of the other options available for the extrude. <clears throat> you can change the direction of the extrusion using uh, any one of these buttons down here. This one will reverse the extrusion direction. This one will create a symmetrical uh, extrusion around the profile. And then you can also do an asymmetric extrusion in which you can specify uh, an extrusion distance in both directions. We're now going to discuss the second method to create a solid body in Autodesk Inventor and that is to revolve a surface around an axis. Uh, the way we can do that is by creating a sketch and drawing an axis or selecting another axis and then selecting the revolve tool to create our solid body. Uh, you can see in this example, I have drawn a 5 millimeter diameter circle and a construction line here that we can use as an axis. So to create the revolve, we're just going to go up here and select the revolve tool. Uh, this will automatically select our profile as it is the only profile available to us in the part currently, uh, but gives us the option to select the axis. So we're going to go here and select the axis that we have created for it. and It's going to give us a preview of the part, uh, which looks like a toroid. Um, currently, it is a full 360 degree rotation. Alternatively, we could set an angle. Uh, this will allow us to specify an angle and then gives us the direction options uh, that are available to us for the standard extrude. So we can click one direction or the other symmetrically or an asymmetric uh, revolve. I'm now going to discuss the sweep tool. Sweep takes a profile defined by a sketch and extrudes that along a path defined by a second sketch. In our case, we have a circle here with a 5 millimeter diameter, and then we have a path here shown in green that is an S shape. 
So we can select the sweep tool from the upper left hand corner and this will automatically select our profile because it again is the only profile in the part but allows us to select the path. So we can click and select the path and it will give us a preview of what our part is going to look like. We hit OK and you can now see the solid body that was created using the sweep tool. The last way to create a solid body that we're going to discuss is the loft tool. The loft tool takes a profile from one sketch and interpolates it into the profile of a second sketch, creating a solid body in between. To create this uh, loft, we'll use the example we have on the screen. We have a 10 millimeter diameter circle and then a 2.5 uh, side length square uh, profile. You can see this is how they are organized. If we select the loft tool, this will allow us to select the sections uh, to, that will be created during the loft. So we can select those two and it will create this preview for us. We can click OK and it will actually create the solid body. <clears throat> there are many, many options with the loft tool uh, that go beyond the scope of these tutorials but you can experiment with it and um, create some pretty interesting shapes. This concludes our video. Thanks for watching.